Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was do in Nashville, Tennessee. And unlike my last attempt at Banished, where everybody kind of ended up in a terrifying death spiral, I think I know what to do in the game now. What I really need to do is focus on hunting and gathering early on, and then develop real agriculture later. I was wasting too much manpower on stuff like that, um, and rather than and like trying to build like three markets. What I need to do is just have a solid... Okay, let's pause the game real quick while we scout the terrain. Oh, good, it, it did pause. That's easier. Let's go ahead and get our map button up here as well. Boom. Get that up in our upper right where I like it. Okay, so this is not a bad place for our village to start because we can set up our trading post early on. We're going to need some bridges if we want to get over to that stone there, but that, that's not too much of a trouble. Got plenty of stone and timber and everything right here. Excellent. So I could always build like my nature preserve with my hunters and whatnot over across this way. And then uh, expand my city within these boundaries. So that's looking pretty good to me. I don't want to get play too wide too early. But I do need to go ahead and uh, start building a few things. So And start clearing a few things especially. Now if we pull up our resources menu here, which is one of these buttons, so many buttons, all of them are helpful in different ways. We got our professions, we got our resources, so let's go ahead and immediately mark some of this uh, stone here for removal, and some of this iron for removal, and some of these trees here for removal. Let's go ahead and indicate that we'd like two builders, and we can get those builders working on some of our early structures. If we don't have a tool place, we're going to run into trouble. But we're also going to run into trouble if we don't have, uh, you know, houses. So let's go ahead and get some houses underway as well. I think we've got enough. we got a few families at this point. So let's go ahead and allocate three builders, and we'll assign them each to a different home. Whoops, no, that's not how. Yes, we use that one. Woo! I am amazing at everything I do. Okay, so one of one, one of one, one of one. Great. Ter terrible Borg designations, but excellent in every other way. So, of course, now we need to max this out to 10. And let's go ahead and have these people begin also uh, building some paths here. Now, we are probably going to... Last time I, I made a mistake of not having any solid paths early on, and that really came back to hurt me. So I'm going to want to indicate early that we want to have Stone Road right along here connecting our primo things. It's going to cost us 25 stone, and we've only got 52 in the bank, but luckily I've got a decent amount of stone kind of throughout here that I can steal, chop up, and grab. Um, going to go ahead and clear out these trees. Now, at the end of this stone path, we're going to go ahead and put our bridge across to over here, maybe? Or do we want to have that further down? You know what? Let's uh, let's just use it and set it up over there. Boom! These houses are just coming together like crazy uh, on account of, you know, people building really fast at 10 times speed. So, I'm going to go ahead and set up another house and another house and another house. Now, we've got six uneducated children that we're going to have to deal with right away. And they are going to be just quite the trouble if we do not take care of them. So... We can also, let's see, oh, but you know what else is going to be quite the trouble? Starvation. So, we are going to allocate a hunting cabin. You know what, actually, I think I'm just going to set the first hunting cabin out here. This is maybe a better place for it than over here because I don't have to build the bridge first and I can always knock it down later if it becomes a problem. Okay, so that's, that's kind of a little bit far out, but it's not too far out. So, boom, here's our hunting cabin. Now that means, we, let's go ahead and allocate another builder. Because right now we don't really have uh, a lot of people doing anything else. So, we've got uh, six houses. we got one hunting cabin. As soon as we get at least one builder over here, working on this cabin. Great, looks like we got some. Let's go ahead and, uh-oh, what are we running low on? Stone. We're going to go ahead and mark for stone clearance everything over here. We are going to begin on our teacher's hut, or teacher house. I don't know. There's a word for it. It's very scholastic. Um, so let's see. And we'll set that up here so it's near the, uh, near the, uh, near the homes. Because if you don't set that up near the homes, then you run into different troubles. 
Um, having a market set up sooner or later is going to come in handy, but we do not need that now. What we will need before then, whoops, is we are going to need a uh, tool maker. Let's see, yes, we are going to need a tool maker and we are going to need a tailor because we will start running out of tools before long. So here we go. Blacksmith, we can set him up. Um, let's go ahead and set him up right here on kind of this uh, side street a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Boom. And uh, we can go ahead and set our tailor up as well on the same side street. And so right now, everybody's just running around building and grabbing stuff. And as soon as that hunting cabin is done, we're going to go ahead and actually um, create... Can I give them one more? Of, yes. Okay, cool. Let's make that a priority. Running low on stone. Doing okay on logs. But you know what? Let's, let's designate some more stuff to be cleared just because... Whoops. Whoa. That was a mistake. We can mark this building for destruction using one of these many buttons here. Yeah, I think that's it. Or, or is it something like... Well, first off, let's... Huh. Is there, is there a mark for destruction? No, that's cancel removal. Pretty sure it's under one of these options here. Building remove? No. Where's the building remover? I'm in trouble because I don't know where it is. Well, that's cancel removal. That's options. Okay. Um, well, we don't need. We definitely don't want to build another forester lodge right there. And we're running low on firewood. So, dang it! Did I, wait, did I build a forester lodge? No, I built a hunting cabin. Good, good, good. Okay, so building removal. Increase priority paths. That's not helping. Oh, we're going to need firewood, too, before long. Dang it. Okay. Well, this is going to be the most worthless forester's hut if I let them actually build it. Dang it. How could I be so foolish? Where is it? I know that there's a way to remove a building later. There it is. Remove building. Boom. Okay, great. Now... Where were we? Oh, yes. We will need a woodcutter. That is a legitimate thing that we will need. So, to, so let's go ahead and set up a guy here to start chopping up firewood into, uh, you know, firewood from other types of wood. Okay, we can just set him up uh, right here across from our stockpile. And so, boom. All of a sudden, everything is just going smoothly. Well, not all of a sudden. Everything has been going smoothly. We are doing great over there. We need to designate more stone for removal. But, you know, that's no surprise to anyone. Plenty of stone all over the place here. So, while they're in the process of doing that, we've already got everyone into houses. The, that means, though, that what we really need is at least one more house. Because if you don't have more houses, then nobody else moves in. And then you're sad. You're like, why didn't anyone else move into my awesome town? Oh, good. We have... Oh, that's the schoolhouse which we have at least two builders working on as well. And we are running into no shortage of iron, but a bit of a shortage of stone. But that's not completely unbearable. The reserve of logs being low is problematic to some degree, but not for long. Boom. The future is chopping down. Okay, great. So, let's go ahead and set us up with three hunters. And I should probably build a gatherer's hut over here, too. Where's the gatherer's hut? Boom. Great. And we'll just set them across from there. And hopefully that being a little bit further out, it won't matter too much. But I will want to ultimately set up a good path between there and here. So, let's go ahead and let our builders take care of getting that going. And hopefully we won't run completely out of food reserves in the meantime. Or completely out of timber reserves in the meantime. Plenty to do. 46 to 50 logs. Yeah, let's go ahead and mark some more of this for destruction. Wanton destruction. Oops. Wanton destruction. There we go. Great. In the meantime, these guys over here have already gathered 200 venison, which is not bad at all. And uh, they'll hopefully start carrying that over to the barn, or some laborers will anyway. 
Yes, I know the reserve of food is low, but not for long. That's why we are doing these crazy gatherings and stuffs. Great. So, let's go ahead, actually, and indicate where we want our road here. Because that will matter down the line. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put that there. And connect that to here. And that'll speed up their travel time. And we can upgrade that to stone later. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and create a teacher to uh, start educating these students, because we've already got a good number of them. Woo, and we can start uh, having somebody tail some stuff if we really need to. Although, I don't think tailoring is going to be as high. Well, you know, it might not hurt, just in case. Okay, so let's see. How are we doing on all sorts of jobs and things like that? Blacksmith we're going to want, but oh no, we've probably got too many builders. We've got seven builders at this point. So let's go ahead and bring that to a more reasonable five and create a blacksmith here. Wonderful. So we are just making plenty of fine progress. Our woodcutter, we're going to need one of those because it's almost winter, but not quite. And we have no firewood. I think finally, the, the last big construction project that we really absolutely want to knock out as soon as possible is a trade... In, well, we don't need the trading post. We do need the... We do need the firewood. So let's go ahead, actually, and dedicate our time and resources to chopping down more of these trees. Because not having firewood will kill us, in fact. So everybody, quickly, go gather firewood. Or normal wood, that we will later turn into firewood. Using our tricks and ways. Okay, so we got some logs coming in slowly but surely, but not surely enough. Okay, good deal. Got some hide coats, got some iron tools. Let's not all freeze to death, guys. That is my fervent hope for us today. That we will not all freeze to death. You know what? You, you can back off making tools for a minute while we collect more timber uh, for our firewood production. Boom. And, dang it, that's a forester lodge. So, we can definitely clear the trees back here as we need. So we're going to go ahead and mark all those for clearance. Okay, now that our oh, gatherer's hut is not in fact finished. But you know what, we have too many builders, probably. Anyway, so let's go ahead and knock that down to three. Yeah, you guys can work on this wooden house and that wooden house and everything like that. And our teacher only has one student, because apparently most of the children are just terrible general delinquents. Okay, we're up to 110 firewood. Plenty of firewood now. Great. Man, it's amazing how much faster harvest and trees is than using proper foresters. I like it quite a bit. Okay, so I'm thinking that what we need to do now is let's go ahead and mark out our, uh, our road here. Which, okay, well, we don't have any stone, so let's go ahead and just use dirt. But we'll, we'll put some dirt here, and then we'll have a bridge come across to here. Boom. So that's going to require a good deal of iron and some logs, but the amount of logs we'll get out of that in the meantime, or not in the meantime, but once it's completed, is definitely going to make that worth it. Okay, and let's designate this stone back here for harvesting, and let's designate these trees back here for harvesting. And, oh, that guy's running low on food. That is not ideal. Is our gatherer's hut complete yet? No. Okay, so this uh, hunting and gathering plan might have been altogether foolish. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, we don't want to get rid of our... What, what are we low on, fella? We are low on logs, yes. Probably because we're just churning out so much firewood. But that's going to be okay. We're going to be fine. Okay, good. We're getting food back in our reserves, which is what I want to see. We're producing a few, or we've produced at least a few coats. So we're not doing insane there. And our nice little wooden house is coming together, too. So, thank you, builders. Although, this is really not what I want you working on. I want you over here working on the gatherers. But... So, anyway. Well, that's nice. We got a wooden house, so hopefully we can get some more uh, young children out of that. And uh, let's mark some of this stone. Where should we mark the stone for gathering? Yeah, collect that stone. Because we will need all of it. Okay, great. Hey, somebody already... Uh, moved into this house, so wow, that's that's kind of awesome. So clearly we are gonna just need to keep manufacturing houses. That's gonna be a a continuous issue for us. So I'm kind of tempted to put another house or to put a house over here. Well, no, that'll be too far from the teacher. So yes, we will put 
this guy here, I guess. Yes, 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 yes. This house can go here. And this house can go here later. Not now. We'll worry about those later. Deprioritize those. Deprioritize. And prioritize. Hey, our gatherer's hut. Let's go ahead and make four people gatherers. And hopefully we won't all starve to death as a byproduct of that decision. Because as you can see, people are already starting to get hungry. And that is not an ideal situation for anyone. Whoa, okay. So, we are doing kind of okay on firewood. Okay, well... Nope, Rolando, the student, has died of starvation. Not ideal, but as soon as we get this bridge together, we can... Oh, we just had three more people, four people die of starvation. Okay, so of my plans... Okay, uh, gatherer, child, hunter, um, and we're out of stone. It really needs a different noise than the you're out of something noise. Like, it should be more of a deadly gong or something. But okay... So let's go ahead and increase the number of people we have in these hunting professions and gathering professions and decrease the number we have elsewhere, as is going to be very important. Um, it's early summer now, so we're not exactly about to run out of firewood. So let's go ahead and cut our woodcutter and uh, make him a hunter for right now. And hopefully this will kind of come together in a positive way. Let's see. How much... Uh, so this, this cabin put out... 400 last season. This put out nothing last season, but it's actually doing something now. So hopefully we'll catch up with our food problem uh, in the long run. Okay. So what do we want to do now? Okay, good, good, good. Here's our wooden bridge. That's awesome. So that means that we can begin construction on a new hunter and gatherer setup over here. Um, yeah, I think that this is going to be a good location for it hunting cabin. Boom. And let's go ahead and mark some of these trees kind of further out here for destruction. Kind of these incidental trees out this way. And as well as this incidental stone over here. Actually, this a lot of stone over here we're going to take. Boom. That's all going to be super important. Please don't starve to death people living in this fine home. Hopefully I didn't build too many houses too fast and then, you know, encourage them to just starve. Because I would feel terrible about that. That would be a that would be my fault. That would be my mistake. And that's really not the sort of thing I should be doing. Okay. And there goes somebody else. A uh, builder. Great. Okay. Well. So we've got two builders working on these. I'm thinking that it might be a good idea to decrease my number of builders and increase my number of everything else. So, quickly, to the job board. Okay. One builder. And we that way we at least have one leftover laborer to kind of move food around or collect stuff. Maybe not the best idea, but we definitely need the teacher. And there goes somebody else. Student has died of starvation. Well, you know, this, this student-teacher thing is really not going well if all the students keep dying rather than, you know, becoming workers. What can you do? Okay, so how's this coming along? Not. Not at all. Okay, so. Good. Well, food time. How are we doing on food time? More venison, that's good. More of everything else, that's also good. Okay, so let's see. Is the food just, uh, out, like, allocating around the outside of here, or is it actually going into the barn? I think it's actually going into the barn. Which is great. So, let's see. This is just not happening. Okay, we're definitely going to need our woodcutter again. So let's go ahead and allocate our laborer as a woodcutter. Hopefully everyone does not freeze to death. And this will be a not terrible idea. Oh, great. What are you bringing? Are you bringing food? Hey, we got some food in the barn. Yay. Let's not starve. Please. And we need to definitely mark some of these for chopping. Dang it. Chopping. Harvest these trees, the nearest ones. And this one. And these these ones. Just go ahead and pull them down. It's fine. Whatever. We need them badly. And we're out of stone, too. Dang it. Okay. 
Firewood, 33. Iron, 33. Everything else. Urgh. You know, this might have been premature, so let's go ahead and pause that for right now. Let's not work on that. Um, and so that means that our builder guy probably doesn't have anything else to do, or does he? So we've got a uh, wooden house, wooden house. So we've got excess houses in the very least, which is hopefully going to be okay. We've got a teacher with three students, so hopefully our whole population isn't going to completely die off. I mean, I think we're in good shape here, other than the fact that we're running out of everything all the time. Right? Like, that's that's a good sign. Um, in fact, this is a really terrible place to build this if I'm going to be just clearing all this out. So, maybe I'll even mark this for removal and just feel terrible about wasting that idea. So, let's see, that was under... Oh, I know this. I know that there's a button to mark a building for removal. Here it is, remove structure. Boom. Okay, cool. So that structure has been removed. We're just going to cull all this until we survive, because no, no, no place in lodges. Dang it, I hate that the tree symbol is the same there as here. We're just going to cull all of this. Okay, good deal. So, new village doing kind of passably we have not hit a tool apocalypse we are not having a cloak apocalypse we are we have survived the winter so there's no timber apocalypse or firewood apocalypse as they are so often terrifyingly known 10 guys okay so one of our students uh, graduated so that's good that is excellent now let's go ahead and mark some more things for collection lack all of these trees because yes oh actually no all of yeah all of these go ahead and grab these trees and go ahead and grab this stone and this iron not that we're doing terribly on iron but I mean it's it's there so great we might just survive this this might not be the terrifying journey that we experienced in the past um, Resource production. It might make sense, too, to build some sort of a stockpile or something over here. But, I don't know. We'll go ahead and set that up, I guess. Uh, whoops. Can't place that there. Boom. So now we got one kind of on either side. Now, it's probably not great that this barn is so far away from here. Whoa, what is that? Noise? We're a reserve of food is low. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and pick up another gatherer. Which is going to give us one less builder, but, uh, whatever. I mean, we are we're cutting it close. In fact, I think our only builder isn't really building anything right now. Except this stockpile, but, like, that's fine. That's okay. Um, so actually, now we're getting back into the question of what should I do for food gathering? Um, fishing hut might not be out of the question. Or another hunting cabin back here, maybe? If we're just going to clear this out. Well, ugh. I mean, I've already cleared all this land. We've already got more resources than we did earlier. But maybe a fishing hut is going to just, uh, just carry us through. So let's go ahead and... Ooh, actually, do we want a fishing hut or a trading post? Let's make up our mind before we starve to death. Yes, good plan. Okay, that's the side that has to not be in the water. There's a trick to this, I'm aware. Boom, and that fishing dock isn't too far from our barn. So we're going to be okay. One builder now. You can go ahead and start getting some of the logs and stone we need for this. Yes, let's just, just cut it all down. Whoa, dang it, the Forester's Lodge. Just, just cut it all down. Boom. Okay, boom, 312 food, I'm loving that. Reserve of food is low. What do you mean, reserve of food is low? We're doing better than we've ever done for food. Hey, and we got five students. The teacher's actually doing her job, or his job. Who's who's the teacher? I don't, I don't know how to tell that. Oh, I guess I could click on the teacher button, then click go to. Citizen Gilea. Good job, Citizen Gilea. You're not very healthy. But you're pretty happy, so, so I guess there's that. Um, so, I have a feeling, though, that the tools are going to start dying if we're not careful. So, as soon as these guys start graduating... Okay, one of them just did. Let's go ahead and get our blacksmith going again. 
And when the next one graduates, let's get our tailor going so we don't have some sort of massive collapse all at once in year seven. Okay. Our houses are starting to fill up now as well. So once these guys start getting older, they're going to want to move out from their parents. And we're going to have to make sure that we are maintaining enough food for them. So hopefully that getting this fishing thing going will help. Well, as you can see, we're going ahead and we're harvesting a bunch of stuff. We're not actually running out of food, although I might give us one fisherman just to diversify people's diets a bit and uh, whatnot. But, I mean, our hunters are doing great. They brought in a thousand venison last season. And look at this gatherer's hut. This is just absolutely stellar. We're also producing a ton of leather. So we've got a high number of coats being produced. I'm actually going to go ahead and stop working this place for right now uh, since we've got so many. We're, we're just in such good shape coat-wise. Okay, good. We're maxed out on firewood. That'll, that'll help us through the winter. And uh, let's see. So what's next then? We've got our fishing hut which is slowly but surely bringing in some fish for little peoples. Uh, we got our trading post underway, which is going to cost us a lot of stone. So let's go ahead and designate more stone to be culled. Of course, there's no stone to collect over here. Not as much as I would like over here. Where's the nearest stone to collect? Ugh. Wow, okay, it might be back here. That's kind of depressing, but whatever. We'll do it. And in terms of trees, you know, we got all these trees here. I built this path so we'd be able to come back here and harvest things more quickly. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Look, we've already got ten of our stone brought over. And we are running low on logs, as always. It just is the nature of the business of what we do here, apparently. So, boom, fishing guy over here is still producing fish excellently teacher is still just graduating students left and right preferably uh right because if they're graduating students incorrectly then that's just a uh, pox upon all of us nobody wants that wow we're going to use a lot of trees for that so let's go ahead and mark more trees for the harvest here don't love any of these trees they're all going away and you know with all these people growing up into adults we're gonna need more houses it's crazy but we're already there so, more tree or more houses here. Let's go ahead and put in another house uh, here and another one here. So, our second builder, we've only got one builder working on the trading post. The other builder should hopefully start on those other structures immediately. And this way, we won't have our population age out on us again. Ugh, that was terrible. Completely undesirable situation. Man, we got 77 coats, so that's going to help us when we get our uh, trading post together. It's also nice. Let's see. So much stuff to gather. And uh, I just want to make sure we don't miss any of it. Luckily, we got three laborers, so we're not doing bad there. Yeah, I know we're running low on everything, guys. You don't have to tell me again and again, but I know you're gonna. See, I've already marked all this stone for collection. And I should probably mark some of this iron here, because that's all going to be great. Yeah, you know what? I'll mark some of this stone, too, just so we have it. Once again, I'm always worried that we're going to start running low on tools. So once we get, start getting more logs and iron together, I'm definitely going to start the tool maker back up. Because, like, if I just kind of click a random person, well, that's not a very good job. Click a random person. Click a random person. How are your tools together? Uh, no, I guess it doesn't say. Oh, good. If you pause, it's easier to click on those things. That's good to know. Great. So 82 logs, 51 stone... Yes, we're going to have to probably set ourselves up a quarry before long. It's not as fast as just grabbing stone off the ground, though. Speaking of which, let's grab some of this stone off the ground. Oh, man, we just got iron lying around here, too. So we'll grab that as well. Yes, I know you keep hitting your production limit. I am glad to see that every house is full of firewood. That is a good deal. And, yeah, so enough fish that people aren't going to get completely unhealthy. Boom, we're just accumulating leather yet again. Another worker just graduated from school. Congratulations on your new diploma. You are now qualified to go chop down trees and build a trading post. I hope this was your lifelong dream. Because otherwise, you wasted four years in school for nothing. Maybe not four years, because it's only the summer of five. But, you know, you got to ask yourself, five what? Five years. That's, that's the answer to that. Okay. So, we're still in a surplus food-wise, which is great, but that's not going to hold indefinitely, so it's good that we can just increase the number of fishermen 
as we need to over there. Let's see. You know, I'm looking at this. Oh, there is a lot of stone out there as well, so we can expand that way if we have to down the line. And there's some stone and resources over here. Wow, a lot of stone actually over here. So maybe I'll go ahead and start building a path. I don't want to waste a builder, though, until we get some more of these houses together. Although that one's... Yeah, so people are starting to move into them immediately. I wish it gave you a warning when you were, like, getting to the point where you need houses to start going up, but whatever. Okay, plenty of roots, venison, hide coats. Everything is coming together here. Boom. So I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and once these houses and stuff are together, I'm going to start on a market that's going to go adjacent here. Oh, I guess I could always open this up to a second builder. Nah, I mean, this is getting done uh, so slowly, though. We'll open it up to the second builder. Wow. Yeah, they're moving into these houses young. That's not bad. That's not a bad thing at all. Let's see. So coats can go in the trading post. I think I'm going to put the market here like behind the trading post, so that way I can easily move goods between it and that. And I could even set up another barn facing the market from over here, that I think will help. So. Hmm. More stone we're gonna need, more logs we're gonna need, but hey, everything's starting to come together. This is a really good start so far. I'm very pleased with how all this is going. Excellent, so our trading post is together, our another student just graduated, it's a good day. Let's go ahead and move some of our coats over into here, just because we got 70 and we really don't need that many in reserve, so let's go ahead and move 40 of them over. Plus, we're just pumping out this leather like crazy, I could m make another, or maybe, yeah, I could make another 30 probably in a minute. So let's go ahead and open that up, and on the construction and building front, we can go ahead and get our market underway here. Boom. Market time. And I'm thinking that I'm going to make a cross street once I get a builder going here. So actually, let's go ahead and make this stone road actually uh, fully and longer stone. Because that's going to really help us in the long run. Boom. And we're actually, I know you're wondering why did we uh, put this here. I think I am going to add a forester's hut down the line. And uh, as well as an herbalist. So 